What's up, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. This is VP Tactical, and today we are doing a furniture swap on the GF3 AK47. You'll see um, I actually did start on one. I was one piece. I was doing some test fitting. Um, awesome set that I had picked up from Atlantic Firearms. No, again, they didn't pay me for any of this stuff to even talk about it, but I just saw this really cool stock set. I think this was called Wolf. And I absolutely fell in love with it. And um, needless to say, I got tired of the poly furniture that was on the AK-47. And I wanted something a little bit different. So I'm going to show you step-by-step -step minus the front foregrip. But I will show you exactly how to uh, swap that out. And so what you'd want to do, of course, make sure your weapon is clear. Put it on uh, fire. That way you can actually get this bolt out. And so first what we're going to do is go ahead and pop off the rear dust cover. We're going to take that out your recoil spring back here. So this just slides forward, pull that out, set that aside, bolt, slide all the way back and then it just pops right out. Careful pulling it out. And that's pretty much it. So first one is gonna be the gas blocks. You're gonna flip your little uh, retaining pin here upwards, pull up on this. And sometimes it may take a little finagling to get out. There we go. We got her out. And now we're going to go ahead and swap this piece out for the matching wood on this one. All right, I had to run to the other room to get the other piece, and so we're going to go ahead and pop this on. Keep in mind, uh, there is a specific orientation of this piece of wood, and if you notice, um, the certain way that it actually lines up. <laughs> Otherwise, if you do it the opposite, it's not going to fit right and it's going to look real funky. So you want to make sure that you orient that correctly. And so in this case, this piece is going towards the front. Now, the easy way to take this off, I've seen some people use a pair of pliers or uh, channel locks and some other stuff. I mean, you certainly could. I actually just like using the uh, cleaning rod, which most rifles don't come with them, but you can order them online. And pretty much what you're going to do is you just put pressure on the top. So basically, you can even use a screwdriver for this, and you're just going to twist to the right, okay? And then what's going to happen, you'll see how this has this curved section. Now the curved piece of plastic is on the opposite end, and you can literally just pull it right off. And so like we said, we want to orient this towards the front. So this spot is going to go down, and essentially what we're going to do is line it up with these grooves, just like this. And then we're going to do the same thing. We're going to twist to the right until it snaps into place. And that's it. Now you've got your gas tube piece. I'll set that aside for the moment. And then the other one, which this one, uh, again, I already pre-fit this one. I had to do some trimming on the very front. Basically, you see this little lever right here. It's going to be flat and as it should be once it's in the closed position. Um, and so I'll show you here in a second. I'm going to take my special mallet. And now you can see that piece is back flat again. But basically what you're going to do is you're going to lift up on that. You may need to use something to pry it up. Um, and then once you get that up, this whole metal piece is going to slide forward. The slide will stock, or the, excuse me, the front foregrip will slide down and then out. And then basically what you'll do is you'll rock it in uh, into position. And then if you need to, use a little mallet, rubber mallet or something to seat this back further in the frame itself. This piece will slide back down and then you have to basically get this back into position. Um, and that's pretty much the hardest part of that. And so we'll go ahead and put this back on. Make sure your gas lever tube is up. And you may have to fuss with it a little bit. Okay. Snapped into place. Now you can see we got that. It looks like I'll have to do a little bit of uh, shimming on the guard because it's a, it's a tad loose. But, I mean, it already looks a heck of a lot better. And so now we'll go ahead and remove the rear. Chances are yours will probably have, you know, if you have the polymer stock on it like mine did. Um, I actually put a Magpul Zukov stock on here. And so this one's actually going to be a little bit easier to remove. I just have one screw, whereas pretty much everybody else, you're going to have two. That's, and that's typical and normal. And so let's go ahead and pull this guy out. And you'll see exactly what I'm talking about here. So if you have either the wood stock or if you have the plastic stock, chances are you're probably going to have something that looks like this. And then you're going to have two holes uh, two screws essentially to remove from back here. So now that that is out, I'm pretty much going to 
line this guy up. And let's see if this is gonna fit with the wood. So this is a piece that actually came off of the um, GF3, and this was on the plastic. And so I'm curious now if I can get this in there with it. Yeah, I'll be darned. And so it looks like that's gonna be a much more snug fit, and there we go. So we got that in there, and so and you can see too with this, um, obviously there is no screw holes. And that's pretty typical just because of the fact that pretty much anything you do with AK, you're gonna have to most likely do some fitment. Um, in other words, either shave some things, make shims, whatever it might be. Um, and I don't necessarily say shimming, but you may have to do some trimming to the woodwork in order to get it to fit to your specific rifle because everyone's different. Especially this one being an American-made AK, you know, obviously things are gonna be a bit different than, um, you know, Romanian counterparts and some of the others that are, that are out there. And then what I'm gonna do with this, I'm gonna go ahead and give it just a few wax to make sure that she's all the way seated. And what we'll do with this is I got my trusty old automatic punch. I'm just gonna line that up as best I possibly can. And we got a hole there, or at least a mark for the hole there. And one there. Now we'll go ahead and drill those and um, we'll knock that out here momentarily. All right, so apparently at the moment I don't have a Phillips bit down here, so we're gonna make do with what we've got in this flathead. Looks like I actually need to back this out and drill this hole a little bit deeper. So let's get this out. If you notice that, especially getting tighter, it's not wanting to go any further. And again, we don't want to split the wood internally. So I'm going to pull this out, re-drill it, and we'll try it again. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that, folks. You know, super important that this particular screw right here um, actually gets flush or at least countersunk. Uh, you don't want that one sticking up. Part of the problem is where your recoil spring is supposed to go and latch back. If that screw is up too high, it's going to sit right there and then you're going to have some problems. So word to the wise, um, don't do what I did. Learn from my mistakes. I use too small of a drill bit. You'll obviously want to get something that's big, but not too big that we don't want the hole loose. Um, when you're drilling those holes, if you have to do that on a, on the stock. So something to be aware of. Now, one thing I did want to point out here, if you can see it, um, there is a little brick right down here, a little metal tab. And that's actually what's holding on. It's got a, a threaded end. And that's actually holding on the grip here. And so there's a single screw on the very bottom. So we're going to go ahead and loosen that up. make sure to hold pressure down on that because otherwise it will pop out uh, pull your screw out your new set may or may not come with a washer and mine's around here somewhere I and mean, if you see this little piece it actually slides in and out so you don't really want that going anywhere um, save yourself the headache and trouble and uh, just keep your finger on it while you're working on this and so now we're going to do the opposite since we got the Old grip out, new grip in. I'm gonna push it up against, you'll see it's got a little indentation for the actual uh, trigger guard itself. And then you may have to do a little bit of finagling to get it to fit just right. And looks like this one's actually just latching right on. And now we're just gonna tighten it down. We got our washer in there. All right. And that's pretty much it, ladies and gents. We're going to go ahead and pop this back up, get our gas tube on. Of course, it doesn't want to fit. <laughs> there we go. Give it a little snap, lock that back into place. And I did get, uh, I did tighten that up just a little bit. 
I'm just a tad loose, but that's okay. AKs aren't meant to be perfect. Anybody knows that? Uh, shoots an AK. The bolt goes back in. Recoil spring. And then finally, our dust cover. And that is it, ladies and gentlemen. Now we got ourselves a new looking AK and it looks absolutely gorgeous, especially with this new wood on there. Hopefully you folks like this video. Um, sorry, I know some parts were uh, a little bit daunting, but needless to say, the end product is absolutely amazing. I'm completely enthralled with it and very happy with the way it turned out. Um, that being said, again, you know, if you run into something like this or you want to put on a new kit, something like this, be aware that you may do have to do some fitment on your AK-47. Uh, it doesn't matter if it's American made or if it's, you know, from Romania or wherever else, you know, it's Russian, etc. Uh, you may have to do some fitment on the parts and that's just something that you're going to have to be aware of. Uh, if you don't feel confident doing that, of course, you could always contact a gunsmith but outside of that hopefully you folks like this video hit that like and subscribe button i appreciate all the love and support and uh be safe and stay vigilant thanks